What's going on, folks? I'm Blake Morse, and welcome to the first ever episode of Bloops and Bleeps! Woo! Uh, this is a show all about video games and music and where those two paths cross in the world of entertainment and pop culture. Uh, we are very, very fortunate to have as our first guest ever, the Mini Bosses! Woo! How's it going, guys? Good, good. Excellent. Good. Uh, welcome to welcome to the studio. Thanks for having us. Abs- it's beautiful. Thank you. You I guys are beautiful, uh, and we're 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 so happy to have you here. Uh, you're, you're a beautiful man. I spent a lot of time in the bathroom getting ready for this. Yeah, <laughs> but not makeup, not what Me you too. guys think. <laughs> we we all spent a lot of time in the bathroom before the show, uh, and that's what's going to make it so much fun today. Uh, no, uh, yeah, so you guys are uh, in the mini-bus. Do you guys want to go down the line and introduce yourselves? Say hi. Sure. Yeah, I'm Jeff. I play guitar. Hi, Jeff. Hello. Hi, Jeff. Nice hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> I'm Robin, and I play some guitar and bass. Hi, Robin. Hi. Uh, I'm Aaron. I play some bass and guitar. <laughs> and uh, I'm Matt, and I play some drums. Awesome. Some drums, just a little. Very minimalist. You guys, you guys do Stephen Glass interpretations Some of uh, 8-bit songs. No, you guys do like rock and roll and metal versions of 8-bit tunes. Uh, so how did you, like, why 8-bit rock and roll? Like, Matt. I, I, I was approached by Aaron at some point in college about playing in a band, and uh, we started working in some some video game music as kind of a like a spliced medley to a few songs and I thought it was really weird and <laughs> and here I am so <laughs> that's that's the best origin story I can think of <laughs> yeah we used to play in another band together in college and uh, yeah we used to put video game parts in as bridges to the songs and after that band broke up uh, I think we just kind of knew that the next band to do would be just all video game songs only, and that would be fun. So you removed the original aspects of the music and kept the video game parts? We don't even talk about the original songs anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. they might as well not exist. Just they the might bridges. as well. Yeah. It was, it was all about... So it was just all about games from the get-go, kind of, after that band fell apart? Yeah, definitely. Uh, at that time, uh, we didn't know if there was even another band doing that. Uh, we later found out there was, around the same time, a band Generic, and they were amazing. And later they became the Advantage. Awesome yeah. band. So, uh, But it was fun. It was especially fun starting at that time. It was so early. There wasn't much... Yeah. video game music stuff going on in it. Yeah, you guys yeah. were you guys were I mean, trailblazing. It was well maybe well, yeah. but it, it's insane no. now to see how much man, oh my god. There's yeah. thousands of artists out there. It's great. Yeah, it's really taking off. Like especially the chiptune scenes now become a big thing. You have people Huge. making their own original Game Boy and Nintendo compositions now. Excuse, I gotta have some Gatorade, excuse me. Really <laughs> frothy today. Yeah, extremely <laughs> frothy Gatorade. Um also really quick I wanna mention if you guys have questions, uh for the band in the chat room, or if you in our live studio audience have anything you want to ask the band, think about your questions, because later on you'll get a chance to ask them yourselves. Uh, but yeah, back to the origin story of the mini-bosses. Uh, all right, so who came up with the name the mini-bosses? Uh, I, I think I did. It was... Uh, <laughs> it was just... that was uh, That's always been my favorite... Uh, kind of just created word from the video game genre i just used to love anyone who's bought anyone who grew up when we did and bought a nintendo game you used to love the box the art the manual and it was just funny to see all these new terms coming out nintendo power and stuff and mini bosses was just always the the craziest that's your go-to yeah that's that's a great that's a great word do you want to tell the story about the alternate meaning of the name you can tell it. Okay. So there, there was a second meaning to the name. Um, on aircraft carriers, they're, they're deck bosses, apparently, and the, the guy that, that oh, coordinates yeah. the whole launching of, of jets is also called a mini boss. So when we used to have people email us or ask us questions about it, sometimes we'd just be like, 
yeah, here, here's why. Yeah. yeah. If, if Would you were... send them pamphlets for the Air Force? <laughs> well, I think we sent them pictures a few times. I yeah. remember doing that, I think. Yeah, it's encouraging them to, like, join up. It's all about Become a recruit. Yeah. There you go. So how did, so, Robin and Jeff, how did you guys get involved in this? Um, you got it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Nice and close. Well, uh, they moved to Phoenix, and I've, and, uh, and I've lived in Phoenix my, my, most of my life. And uh, playing so in just playing in like R and B, uh, pop reggae bands, and, and then uh, so our bands would play together, and and so oh the first but the the reason I the reason I join <laughs> is there oh I don't I tell the story yeah this yeah. story is just you gotta you have to well, tell, so it, so tell the like, internet the you can't be like well, sorry <laughs> internet I'm just sorry this, this is a terrible yeah, this no. is a terrible Edit story, this story no. but this is a very the the short version. Is that uh, we were asked to play this party at DefCon, and yes. uh, yeah, and Ben, who was uh, originally playing bass, was out of town. He was in, in India, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, he so they said no. They turned it down and said no. We can't do the show. And then the guy who was putting on said, "Well, don't you know anyone else who plays bass? Can someone else play?" And they thought, "Oh, well, maybe." And they called me. And uh, I didn't really know these guys that well. I mean, we knew each other from just hanging out at bars, playing rock and well, seeing roll, seeing each other's bands yeah, play and stuff. A few back, <laughs> yeah. But uh, so, and this was we had, we had like one day to two. was it one day? You had three days. You had two days. Yeah, I think, but to I did I use this. One day. sounds more Do dramatic. We use those two Let's days. Stick with one. We'll, one day. We're creating. We'll edit a, this later. We're creating a legendary. <laughs> I know myth, it's live. Like we right can, now, yeah. We will take yeah, but then we. So we learned. Uh, I learned some of the songs, and we went and played this uh, played this show and and uh, at DefCon, and it was, it was just magic. Uh, it was, like you guys, it, it was magic. Like so you magic. guys caught each other's like twinkle in the eye in the middle of the set, and you just knew like this was this was it. They liked the way I danced. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Rob, Robin did some um, incredible break dancing in a pile of ice cubes. Kinda, which was really cool. Kind of scared the party. Kind of yeah. scared everyone at the party. It was great. <laughs> you scared. You scared the hackers. People backed away from. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's, that's wow. Great. That's pretty. That's tough, yeah. man. Hackers. Uh-huh. Hackers see a lot of disturbing stuff on the internet. <laughs> it's, it's impressive that you pulled that off. Well, I wonder what else. A, kind of. A, I can't. <laughs> Let's just say, uh, I chose music instead of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, I can't, you know, I think maybe dance chose me and I just kind of... Yeah. Like it's just inside I, uh, of you? Maybe I, you made like a bad everyone. choice. Maybe. maybe. Maybe you should go back to your first love, mm-hmm. the dance. <laughs> Throw your mic down and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll All right. Be, Are we going to see some of these moves later on when you guys perform? Mm, maybe. They're a little maybe. scary, though. Maybe, maybe we can see the tuning is. booty. I think nice, we have to now. If we're nice to Robin, we'll see the tootie booty. Maybe. Later. Well, we'll, I'd like to get everyone doing the tootie booty. I, this this crowd seems susceptible to uh, your influence. You might be able to get them Some to do Some boot tooting? This. Yeah. This yeah. one's this is an easy dance, too. All right. I, I right. want to hear Jeff's story. Yeah. How did you? How did, uh, what about well, you? Man, I, oh, you, I, you, got, you got your own. I should have yeah. gone first. They were amazing. Um, <laughs> I, I had about a month, I think, not one day. Um, <laughs> um, no, but, uh, pretty, pretty similar story is, is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Uh, there was a, a, a big show, uh, MAGFest 9 coming up, and, uh, it, we had known each other for a while. I'd been a fan of the band and Aaron and I would run into each other like around town or restaurant I worked at a lot. Um, and, and I just kind of, they had somebody who couldn't couldn't play a show and I just said well if you ever need somebody to fill in let me know and next thing I knew I was in the band playing MAGFest and, and you're, you're sitting on this couch haven't, yeah haven't really yeah. stopped so, since and Mag- so it's just been all the uh, uh, you know right rocket right to the top yeah and MAGFest was your first crazy. show yeah, well, with us which was great that's yeah. a great first show yeah, that was yeah. a lot of MAGFest is sure. always a bunch of fun yeah totally yeah. for us for everyone who goes. I, I have not been to MAGFest, but I hear that some of the parties get pretty up. Yeah, you gotta go. It's I gotta fun. go. All yeah. right, you. Uh, can I like, get in as like, your roadie or something? Hell yeah. Maryland's beautiful <laughs> that time of year, too. Oh, it's that's great. fantastic. I would love to take a walking tour of some of the, uh, you know, finer monuments. And Almost missed like our show because of the walking tour we took. It was yeah. beautiful. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you, when you, when you guys aren't, 
playing music, like, are you guys actually gamers, or is it all, like, old school for you guys? I game, but uh, not as much as I used to, and not as much as I'd like. Uh, I probably did. Last game I played, it was uh, uh, Skyrim. And put about 120 hours into that. Only 120 hours? Only would have liked to have so done you more. Just, you just Sometimes kinda... I log in and I'll go to my quest log and there's like 48 quests left oh and God, I immediately it. shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's too daunting. Um, yeah. But besides that, uh, no, I think before Skyrim, probably Fallout 3, same deal, 120 hours. So... Um, but I'd like to play Diablo 3. I just haven't uh, upgraded my PC enough to uh, not be able to sign on to their servers. <laughs> so. I, I was going to say Skyrim, but then I forgot that... Uh, has anybody played uh, the Kerbal Space Program at all? Yes. Yeah? All right. I was hoping somebody had seen that. It's a game where you, you build a, a rocket and you try to get to orbit. That was the first version of the game. It's still in... I guess it's still in beta, right? Alpha. Alpha? All right. <laughs> And then they added a moon, so the idea was to try and land a rocket on the moon and use this pretty, pretty good physics. And uh, I was unbelievably excited when I spent three hours about two weeks ago, and I landed a <laughs> rocket on the moon and got him back to Kerbal safely. Woo! <laughs> yeah! So, All right. Hire me SpaceX, please. <laughs> All right. You guys, you guys big gamers? You, um, you, you enjoy the gaming of videos? Uh, my, my, I have... Uh, a game I play called My Littlest Pet Shop. My Littlest Pet Shop? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got and, some fans uh, in the audience. I mostly, mo uh, most games that I play are with my kids. Yeah. So, uh, so whatever they like. So, he means us. <laughs> Hello, Don't you have Hello a French? Kitty. Isn't there a French game yeah. you play with I'll, Mina? Well, I love I loved the, uh, the Mind Snacks language game. So oh, fun. yeah. Uh, Those are good. And then, and then uh, have, have you checked out Mavis Beacon? Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe speaking teaches typing. No, it's the bomb, dude. Oh, shoot. Totally the bomb. Yeah, it's pretty how how, how could? Was better. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, sequels are always better. Yeah, but they changed the interface for that. I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, the 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 HUD wasn't as good in the second game as it was in the first game. I don't like the way they gave you regenerative health either. Uh, uh, it just made it too easy. Um, the search for more keys. <laughs> So what about you, Jeff? Do you game? Uh, a little bit. I, I don't have a lot of time for it, but I do have a Wii at home. Uh, <laughs> the last game I played was uh, the latest Zelda, Skyward Sword. And, nice. uh, I was super into it. Definitely played it obsessively for about a week. and Just beat it? Beat it, yeah. Like, were you crying tears at I the end pretty, of it? Yeah, was How was impressive. the ending to that? Pretty good? It or? was It was good, uh, yeah. I mean, it, was, it wasn't too difficult, you know. I mean, most of the game I felt like it kind of led you through is it very swingy action yeah, it was that, very the, the controller actually that's my problem with the wii a lot of times is that i'll be like no i wanted to do this and it won't do it but once i got the hang of that game that was like probably my favorite thing about it was swinging your sword around and, yeah like yeah. getting it the right way and, like and the certain like, attacks yeah and everything. it was it was really cool it was a lot of fun um and may, other than that, I have a Wii mainly to play like classic NES games. I nice. I don't really I I've never had an Xbox or a PS3, um, anything like that. But yeah, I mean but, I'd like one. They're just expensive. <laughs> Man, <laughs> like, hand in. Yeah. There you go. We'll, we'll see. Who knows four. who's who knows who's watching this right now? Maybe they'll they'll take pity on you guys. And be like, Here you go. Uh, not my goal. <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, speaking of old school games, like, so, you know, obviously you guys, all of your music is old school. Uh, like, do you guys go back and play a lot of old school games in order to figure out what songs you're going to cover? Or do you just kind of think about what your favorite games were from back in the day and be like, yeah, let's do this? We have a, uh, we have a big, a we have a big zip file um, <laughs> that's just full of every Nintendo and Famicom soundtrack. Yeah. And, uh... Occasionally, oh, that feels pretty good. Occasionally, uh, yeah. If we're if we're finally if we finally finished a new medley and we're looking for something, we'll occasionally rifle through it to see if there's something we've missed. But other than that, we kind of have like a sort of list going in our heads of what we're doing, and we're not even close to really 
scratching the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Like how many I mean, there's so many. Yeah, there? there's so many. Like, and there's so many we still want to do, so. Yeah. Like, what's what's something that you guys haven't done yet that, like, is kind of, you're, you're, you're reaching for it, or you really, really want to do it? Marble Madness. Marble Madness. Yeah. It's really hard. We've talked about a few. But really we want to we want to do all the music to Castlevania two every song. Yeah. So right now our melee only has three, but there's like yeah. twelve songs. So, so you're about a quarter be, of the way there. Yeah, we, we'd had a much larger medley a while ago, and it was, we with, have, an, it was with an old guitarist. So we just got to catch up. We're pretty much this is the most material we've ever had prepared right now <laughs> it's a little over we, we keep having to restart every time we've had a bad curse with uh other guitarists uh-huh. and jeff has Uh-oh. finally broken the curse no, or, or just not or not practicing it. yeah the, well let's not get into the reasons why the curse exists but <laughs> um we're fine this is the most we got over two hours ready to go right now which is great that's awesome. Yeah. So, like, pretty you you can switch things in and out. And yeah. Like every show's gonna be different. Yeah. It's like, fun. Yeah, yeah. Like, you guys must get requests all the time, though, right? Only uh, through emails or face to face or at shows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. So not as not much as not during interviews. Wow. Never doing. You interviews. got one, or you want to throw? Oh one? no, you guys, you guys do your own thing. I don't, I don't tell artists how to create. <laughs> That's not that's not my vibe, bro. <laughs> no, you get to do your own thing. Like, what, what what's like probably the most requested song though? Uh, serious a seri- the most serious request is probably. What do you think the most serious that's request Final is? Fantasy, Final right? Fantasy a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah, that's that true. Really awful. And then the most ironic request Battle is uh, Battle. Oh, Battle Toads is a serious yes. request. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No, Battle Toads or uh, Wall or Kid. Wall Street Kid's the most ironic one. Yeah. Nice. People want to hear Wall Street Kid. They really do. <laughs> really? Man. Wall Street Kid. That get, I rented that game when I was like eight That's years old. Song. And like I could I just failed every time. Like I made one good investment once and it paid off. And then I just went bankrupt every other time. <laughs> Who the hell gives an eight-year-old kid a game about in Investment banking. That's, that's just ridiculous. Uh, Michael Douglas. I want, it would be nice to know how that game got green lighted. Like they were like, man, it was I got in the eighties, right? Idea. How, that's how did, we how got did, into this mess? They're letting uh, eight-year-olds run yeah. everything. <laughs> um, we lost so much money on Wall Street, kid. Why did we play the game before we made it? Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, Let's see. So, who are, who are you guys' influences outside of video games? Like, who do you really like musically? Oh, man. Nobody? <laughs> yeah. No one? <laughs> you guys hate all music Try if it wasn't made by, music. like, a Japanese composer <laughs> in, um, in general MIDI? Well, we, a bunch of us just went, went to see Radiohead, which Ooh, was... Yeah. yeah, a month ago. Yeah, which was I love amazing. Radiohead. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. That's a long list and covers a lot of... Yeah, so yeah. much. A lot of genres. Duke yeah. Ellington. I hear that, uh, and I hear that when you guys are playing, because it's so s- screechy. You got that, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, I hear that too. Yeah. <laughs> Lionel Richie. Oh. Yeah. Michael Jackson. <laughs> nice. Uh, have you guys ever thought about doing like anything beyond eight bit, like maybe even modern gaming songs, something like that? Not, not really. Not in mini bosses. I think no. mini bosses is good. Just you got staying your, to this. You got your formula. Like why? We, why? Why break something? We did talk about maybe breaking up, theoretically, and then like forming a Sega band, <laughs> and then have that be a rival band. <laughs> <laughs> and and t- I think this might work. And I think we should do it. Yeah. And then have that band break up. We're just going to keep going back and forth between the yeah. Sega band and mini bosses. You guys and they could, hate each they other. <laughs> yeah. They could, you guys they could arm wrestle together. each other with power so gloves. If we're, we're taking good, uh, we need, we need a good band name recommendations for the Sega band. Well, Altered Beast. Altered Beast. Beast. Yeah. That's pretty good. Master System. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Some goodies. <laughs> I, Ages? I got, Man, I got nothing. Herzog's We. There you go. Mm. 
What? Never Space played that game Harrier. Sonic Swing? Yeah, you never played that game on the Genesis? I had I had one. I didn't no, play it. No street cred whatsoever. No street cred. No, I'm kidding. You guys, you guys are fantastic. We could call it hang. So on. before we before we uh, before we started, I asked all of you to write down a question for any member of the band you wanted to, uh, and now I think it's time that we show reveal these questions to the world. My so stomach feels funny. Yeah. The first anonymous question is for Matt. The world wants to know, what kind of dressing would you be if you had to be one? <laughs> I watched Terminator the other night. So I'm going to say a field dressing. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Top that, clowns. <laughs> All right. To Robin. What is the strangest place you've made? I feel like I'm on did the dating game all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> if I was an ice cream cone, what flavor would I be? And what would you do to me? No. Uh, what, is the, what is the strangest place you've made Whoopi? Your band members want to know. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Don't say my house. <laughs> Your house isn't very strange. Ocean Beach Studio. <laughs> <laughs> we will be uh, steam cleaning the. We'll be oh. right back. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't, I, I, Give us a couple. Come on, man. You can't think of the strangers. <laughs> I don't know. Strangers. Come on. A bad. Give us something. Know, there's nothing. Nothing that strange. People are logging off. Maybe all uh, over the internet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bring him back, Robin. I don't know. I guess the just uh, lie. Say somewhere incredible, like the Empire State Building. No, uh, I guess the, the maybe the bathroom at the uh, in the uh, Hotel Monte Vista. There you Whoa. go. Oh, wow, that's classy. a nasty bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's I mean, it's not <laughs> so strange as it is just nasty. All right. All right. Well done. <laughs> Somebody, somebody asked uh, three questions. They were clever, um, but this might give them away. Uh, to Matt, why keep going? What's the point? <laughs> you guys are so nice to each other. I can really, I really feel the love between you guys as a group. The like band camaraderie here. I would have also said uh, Greek salad dressing. <laughs> Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, to Jeff, what really makes you mad? Huh? Puppies. <laughs> He's enough. telling the truth. All right, to Aaron. Uh, how long can you keep it a secret? <laughs> <laughs> it's cats out of the bag now. I guess so. Is that the secret? The cat was in the bag? <laughs> I was, no one was supposed to know I was keeping a secret. Son of a... Okay. Yeah, we all know now. <laughs> all know. It's too late. And one last question for Robin. <laughs> oh, they really, really like you a lot. Does does the curtain match the drapes? <laughs> you, you, you must be the sexy uh, one in the yeah. band, apparently. <laughs> Cause, cause the, cur the curtain matches the drapes. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's see. I got one more question for you guys, and then we're going to open it up to Q&A from the internet and from the audience. So uh, please get your questions ready. Uh, guys, I want to know, uh, is DuckTales the new Excite Bike? Because you guys, uh, my, my roommate went and saw you guys at PAX like a year or two ago, and you played Excite Bike like a few times. And then last night, I watched you guys play DuckTales four times. And it was uh, pretty much all anybody tweeted about your show. <laughs> Was that you guys played DuckTales four times. I, um, I think it's probably safe to say, yeah, it's the new Excite Bike. DT nice. is the new EB. Yeah. DT is the new EB, nice. Uh, do you guys always do that? Is that something you always do? Like, do you just pick a song and play it? Like, more I think it varies on the show, and last night was a fun atmosphere to do that at. You mm -hmm. can't get away with 
with playing the same song multiple times unless yeah. people are in a good mood. Yeah, you guys are the only band I've ever seen get away with that. And I it, it's really impressive. Like you you have some you have a dedicated fan base that will put up with crap like that. I, I think I think there's limits to that though. If we tried to do um If we had tried to do it a fifth time, everyone would have left. Yeah. <laughs> or if, if we'd done like uh, Mega Man 2 three or four times in a row, that would have been the whole set. So. Yeah. It helps, yeah. It helps that Duck Tales is 83 seconds, so. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't notice it. And uh, speaking of that fan base, like, yeah, it is, you, you guys have a hardcore fan base. Like, nerds are a pretty, pretty dedicated audience, it seems. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yeah. Yes? You just, okay. yeah, sure. yeah. You guys got anything you'd like to, like, say to the beautiful, beautiful fans out there in internet land watching and uh, here in the studio? Nothing. They'll get what's coming to them. We, we love you. We we love you. Yeah. Aww. We do. We love you. That was the yeah, secret. Thank you. Couldn't couldn't yeah. hold it in any Aww, longer. Man. We love you. Aww. You guys, you make me all misty. Eye. Um. Well, yeah. So now we would like to open the uh, the audience up to Q and A or the internet. The internet, if you're watching at home and you have a question for the mini bosses, ask us now. Now's your chance. Or uh, if you don't have any questions, uh. They're just going to rock out. So does anyone here have anything they would like to ask of the mini bosses? All right. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> what, what song do you enjoy playing the most? Or what What's game? your favorite uh, song or game? DuckTales. Duck <laughs> <laughs> uh, <I, laughs> I think before Duck... Yeah, it is DuckTales. But before DuckTales, <laughs> I think my favorite song to play enjoyment-wise was uh, probably Mega Man 2. Nice. I think Tech Mobile. Oh, Tech Mobile is great to play. Yeah. Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is fun to play, too. Oh. I believe I'm getting a, t a text message. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see. All right. Has <laughs> Thank you. Read it out loud. Oh. question? Uh, let's see. Has anyone really seen for even as decided to use even go want to do look more like? <laughs> yes. A few times. <laughs> what? Not enough. Just a second. I love you, John. Oh. Was oh. he watching? Did you actually get to... Oh. Did they just text you uh, a little we're watching and we love you thing? Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, who who did you so, just who did you just say you loved? John John Rawhouse. John Rawhouse. And and how do you who is this person? <laughs> he's a uh he's a talk show host. He's a talk show host. With me. You you we do an uh, impromptu <laughs> talk show called A B and Me. Yeah. Uh out of a vegan coffee house back in Phoenix. Nice. And I miss you. I miss you, John. Where can people and see? He's you also in? he's also a great uh, pedal steel player and banjo. And uh, and just an all around great guy. Why do you yeah. love him? He's a great guy. Handsome just because he's a great guy, he's just that lovable. Yeah, he's, he's very. Lovable. I find him very lovable. Yeah, that's adorable. He's great. I think everything you guys do is adorable. Aww. Yeah. I really think there needs to be a cartoon of the four of you, but like you're like ba infants, and it's like <laughs> the mini bosses. mini mini <laughs> mini bosses. Yeah, and like you go on adventures and you learn about sharing and friendship. <laughs> But occasionally, every once in a while, there's a really dark episode yeah. where we go to the Muppets Baby Nursery and we just, like, beat the beat living the hell out. Oh, no. They're like, you're arch enemies. <laughs> nice. I like the show. I'm pitching this to Nick Jr. after this. I think uh, I think Man, we'll, I, think we've I got would a watch that. <laughs> Nicholas Cage Jr.? Nicholas Cage. Let's do it. What? Uh, never yeah. mind. Aww. He's a bad joke. Metal. Bad joke. Adorable, though. Yeah. Adorable bad joke. <laughs> Adorable bad joke. Aww. Aww. All right. And uh, if we don't have any more questions, or do we? Oh, we got one more question. Are you guys friends with Horse the Band? Uh, we not like we don't uh, talk to them all the time, but yeah, we know them. Uh, we yeah. played a show with them once, and they were great. Yeah. yeah. Love awesome. them. Do they yeah. still? I don't know if they're still yeah, around. They are still, awesome. Yeah. I think they're still rocking. Are they awesome. related to um, horse ebooks on Twitter? Oh yeah, horse ebooks on Twitter. Does everyone follow no. horse ebooks? Oh, this I know what you're talking gotta about. Got a shout out to horse ebooks. Yeah, to the devil with cold chicken. <laughs> my favorite horse ebooks. 
Um, speaking of, well, someone since someone brought up Horse the Band. Like, who are your guys' favorite bands? Like that are in this like video game music scene. Like, who do you who do you really really dig? Metroid Metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super yeah. Commuter is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mega uh, Ran. Mega Ran. Mega Ran's great. Sweet. You guys, uh, you guys rock rock out to the Proto Man. Ever? Proto Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Arm Cannon. Uh, uh, man. Anything. Everybody. Really Magfest yeah. is so great because yeah. it's almost the who's who of who's in that genre. I, I love it. You get to see everybody at Magfest. It's great. What is Magfest? Magfest is a music and gaming fest. That takes place <laughs> to, uh, around the New Year every year yeah. in, in the Maryland. Virginia, Maryland yeah. area. Perfect place, for right by DC. Beautiful. Very central, centralized, easy for everyone to get to. Yep. Yeah, nice. Robin and I take field trips sometimes when we do the shows. Yeah, it's great. Walking tours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How lovely. Uh, so, who is your favorite mini boss from Metal Gear Solid? Uh, that is a question from the internet. Hmm. Cause there's so many. They have so many great names. I, you know what? I got a better one. If you were going to be a mini boss in Metal Gear Solid, what would your call sign be? Is this a oh. bad time to say I never played the game? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So just take. So make up make up a Metal Gear Solid name. Yeah. We so gonna, so be pretty good. much it's like uh, I would be. I think it's like adjective and animal. I think that's what they do. Something right. like yeah. that. Or noun. noun noun or animal? Is that what it is? Noun animal. Noun, noun animal. Noun animal? Uh -huh. A noun animal? So a noun and an animal. So like dancing orangutan or something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mine would be boring dog. <laughs> Mine would be smarmy rabbit. Bumper goat? Bumper goat. Bumper nice. goat. Nice. I know what that's for. Liquid snake. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Awesome. All right. And do we have any more questions from the interwebs? Nothing we're great. Front we're front page. All right. Hey, we're on the front page of Twitch. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, so far, I'm Blake Morse, and this is Bloops and Bleeps, and we're interviewing the mini bosses today and we're going to have them perform uh this is the first ever episode we've ever done uh why don't, i'm going to do a quick social media plug for all of this crap because uh people should check us out other places uh where, how, how can guys get a hold where can people find the mini bosses on the interwebs uh minibosses.com for sure Bandcamp. Bandcamp, we have uh we got a facebook if you google mini bosses it comes up pretty quick uh and we're also on the twit zones Mm -hmm. And our uh, handle on there is at Mini Hefes, M-I-N-I-J-E-F-E-S. We also just started a, a, a MySpace account, so <laughs> nice. We'll be we'll be getting into that. Just what, so. What's what your is that? what's I heard of that? Are you? It's 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 a new thing. It's or? getting big. Do you guys have? I'll you, email you a link from my AOL address. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys have any presence on uh, Google Plus? No. Google Plus is huge, man. Everybody's on Google Plus, bro. <laughs> the Hangouts are pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, yeah. Hanging, outs, hanging Outs. I've cool, done that for work. Yeah. So, so I'm hanging out at work. work. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what Plus. else? And uh, let's see. What about, do you guys, you guys have Facebook? Like, like you on the Facebooks? All that mm -hmm. stuff. Yep. And yep. you guys have a website? Yep. All right. We, we went over that. Com, yeah. All right. Excellent. And uh, if you want to check out the stuff that we do without the mini bosses, uh, you can follow us at Geeky Week. Uh, on Twitter, you can also check us out on Facebook uh, and uh, follow. Go to YouTube.com and follow Glass Home TV if you want to check out this interview cut up into segments or any of the other shows we do. And I think that's all of the shameless plugging I have to. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want to. I'm at Prof Robot. I don't know if that's like up on the screen right now. It's not. We're it's right here. all right. It's right here. Can you not see it? I hope you can see it right there. All right, no. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I don't think we have any more questions. Audience, you have a question? Is there a story to the uh, tattoo? Yeah, what, what, what's up with your tattoo here, man? This interesting tattoo. We get a uh, shot the that's tattoo? a mini boss head. So that was designed by um, our artist, uh, this great guy, Matt Smith, who lives in Massachusetts. And he does all our art for our CDs and everything. And uh, 
I don't know what happened, but he... Right when we were starting, he made four heads for the four of us that were kind of random. And uh, this one uh, is me. And uh, ever since then, when uh, two guys dropped out, he's made new heads for everybody. So everyone who's been in mini bosses has had a head. So are you the only? Because this is yeah. Let me let me do that. Is that better? Just look at your leg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, He's the only tattoo. Make sure you get this so sand far. too. This yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, are you the only one to get it tattooed, though? Uh, yeah. so far? No, Fred. Fred's Ooh. got his oh, head. Right. Former member Fred has got his head on on his leg, same place. You guys can totally like uh, pull. What is it? The Almond Brothers? They all get that mushroom tattoo or something. Well, like we that. do a kind of weird uh, Wonder Twins <laughs> thing where we bang them together, but we probably <laughs> shouldn't get <laughs> into that. <laughs> <laughs> Form of really awkward pose. <laughs> uh, any more questions from the audience? Audience questions. Anything you've ever wanted to know about the mini bosses but were afraid to ask? Now's your chance. Anyone want to request what they want to hear today? Contra. Contra. All right. Yeah, Mega Man Two, definitely. Duck I'm. Tales. I'm gonna. Yeah, Ducktales. Ducktales. I think we're gonna we'll hear. try. <laughs> yeah. Blaster Master. Yeah, we'll do a little blaster match. You guys, you guys know any double dragon? You know any? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna request some double dragon. Okay. Because I've been in a double dragon mood all week. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> you, you let I'm, me tell I'm you something. Kind of strung out on double dragon right now. Yeah. Tell the truth. I kind of needed. I kind of need, need my fix. I need the DD fix. Yeah. It's gotta happen. Going through my DTs. They're remaking the that, D D D T. Yes, they are. Double dragon neon. Uh, it's gonna be at E3 next week. Are you guys go? Do you guys go to E3 and check that out ever? No, mm. not really. We were asked to play this year, but uh, it didn't work out. What the hell, man? They didn't, well, it's during the week, so it's harder for us to do a during the week show when they don't want to uh, give us any money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so they were like, hey, come, come like, to come come on, there. You guys pay to come to LA and we won't give you any money. <laughs> exactly. You guys will just play music. And yeah. We won't pay you. Yep. Kind of like what we did here. Yep, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not. So many secrets being revealed. <laughs> Shocking secrets. Well, awesome. So, uh, I, th I think we got one last question from the audience. Z uh, somebody wants to request the Zelda dungeon theme on the internet. The internet has requested the Zelda dungeon theme. Uh, I could do that. You can do it. You guys just want to do it acapella I do it. now? You can just no. do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been working on the acapella set at all? No, uh, the, a while. the acapella set is something that you can't uh, work on. The rule is <laughs> it has to be impromptu and to be impromptu. you just go for it. What are your, what are your, what's your favorite acapella video game tune? Oh, I, I, Akari Warriors. Akari Warriors yeah. is really good. How, how does that one go? <laughs> it, it, you can you can find it on YouTube. Actually, we have a great video of us doing it acapella for a, as an apology video to a show we couldn't do in Mexico a few years ago. <laughs> it gets really out of control at the end. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, nice try though. We <laughs> almost did it. Almost so close. Oh. <laughs> close. Yeah, we yeah. got some shows coming up in the area too. Uh, tonight we're playing at the Catalyst in uh, Santa Cruz, right? Yep. And then yep. tomorrow we're going to play at Streetlight Records in San Jose. Ooh, nice. During the day, and that's free and all ages. Free and all ages, just like this show. Hey, what do you know? Only you don't have to go to San Jose. Not that you shouldn't go to San Jose, because you definitely want to catch them live. <laughs> but you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to now, so you're welcome. All these mixed messages about yeah. San Jose. <laughs> San Jose. I love it, but no, no, San Jose is a wonderful place. Home of the Sharks. Go Sharks! Yes. Oh, just there kills me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, and uh, I think with that, I think you guys ready to rock? Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little break here, and when we come back, the mini bosses are gonna tear it up. Uh, so thanks everybody for tuning in, and please keep watching. Thank you. All right. <laughs> all right. That was fun. That was awesome, guys. <laughs> <laughs>